Solution number four addresses the problem of complacency. Now, complacency is probably the number one reason for mediocrity in your organization. Complacency is a culture piece. And you have heard the phrase probably and know well that it is true that culture eats strategy for breakfast. And nowhere is this more true than in the nature of complacency. I've witnessed the effects of this culture upon several organizations, upon departments within this uh, of these organizations. And I have to tell you, complacency is a disease. Complacency is a disease like a cancer that grows within the body unchecked, spreading to every part of the body and destroying it. And this is what happens in organizations. If complacency has gotten a toehold in your organization, then you can count on mediocrity being the norm. And you may not even know it. In fact, most of your organizations, of which I am aware that are infected with complacency, are unaware that it has taken root. They think because they're busy, that they're not complacent, which is ridiculous. Complacency has nothing to do with busyness. It has everything to do with the culture that allows itself to focus on the wrong things without seeing what it means to get to the right things and the goal. Complacency can be caused by a lot of things. Uh, absence of any major visible crisis. That can create complacency. We don't have any problems around here. Too many visible resources. My goodness, everything looks so nice. We don't have to worry. It's just kind of really everything's great around here. Uh, organizational structures which focus on the wrong things. This is typical. And the more sophisticated your organization has become, Almost certainly you have put into place the, the throws and the pieces that are orchestrating your own complacency and mediocrity. Lack of performance feedback from external sources. We don't compare ourselves to others. We're doing fine. Too much happy talk. Boy, this is a good one. Um, head in the sand concepts. These all come from John Cotter and his book on leading change and his work on complacency. And let me tell you, all of them are true. Complacency is going to literally eat your lunch when it comes to accomplishing anything. It guarantees mediocrity. And the only thing you can do about it is to kill it. Kill complacency. How do you kill complacency? Good question. I'm glad you asked. You kill complacency by a serious desire to win. And that comes back to clearly communicating the why of your organization, clearly understanding what success looks like for the individual positions with your organization, understanding the tasks which define success, which we've talked about all of these things in the past, about being flexible. But here in all, it comes together in the sense that if you do not kill complacency, if complacency has gotten a toehold and you have not and cannot eradicate it, you will die a slow death. All the while, everybody is smiling and happy. Wondering how come? If this is you, then I encourage you immediately begin thinking about what are some of the causes that contribute to complacency where you work and in your life? And where are some areas that you really feel passionate about winning? And how can you begin to communicate that passion and that desire to win, not just be busy, but to win in your organization? Post those. We'll interact. This will be a great exercise for you.